like I'm back in the movies again, don't I? Well, as a matter of fact, I like to do some talking. Just don't go away until I get this thing off. Now, it isn't as if it was a chore for me to talk to you because I want to speak on my favorite subject, the Army Air Forces. I can't speak from long experience. I've only been on the service a year, but I've learned a lot about what the Air Forces have to offer. That's what I want to talk to you about. Right now, the greatest mass mobilization in the history of the world is taking place. Men from cities, towns, farms, married men and single men, brothers, sweethearts, husbands, fathers and sons, businessmen and workers from the factories, and students from colleges and high schools all over America, they're mobilizing, joining up, or having their numbers pulled out of the fishbowl. And this war we're fighting today and tomorrow and the next day until we win is a war of the air. The whole world knows that. Our factories know that. So, interceptors, pursuit ships, light bombers, medium bombers, and flying fortresses are rolling out of those factories. 65,000 fighting planes this year. 100,000 fighting planes next year. And to keep them flying, two million men. Now, now that's where you come in. The Army Air Forces need 15,000 captains, 40,000 lieutenants, 35,000 flying sergeants. Well, how about it? Well, let's talk it over. Now, make no mistake about this thing, fellas. We're all going to be in this war soon, sooner than a lot of you realize. And nearly all the officers of this great Army Air Force that they're building today are going to be drawn from the ranks of you men, from high schools and colleges, those who join as aviators.